Okay. What if you get something like this guy, where it says, suppose you have two and a half grams of hydrochloric dissolved in 750 milliliters of water. It wants the pH. Well, if we want the pH, we need the molarity. And what we have right now is in a molarity, it's, it's a density is what they gave us, right? They told us how many grams are dissolved per how many milliliters. So what we're going to do is kind of convert that density into a molarity. So I'm going to take, um, for our stoic problem here, our little factor label, I'm going to say 2.5 grams of HCl. And usually we start our problems over the number 1. But this time I'm going to put it over, oh, go away. No, stop. Okay. I'm going to put over how much water we're dissolving it into. So that many grams in that many milliliters. And now we'll do a little factor label problem, getting grams per milliliter into moles per liter instead. So we need our grams into moles. So we need the molar mass of HCl. So if we add up a hydrogen and a chlorine, that's 36 and a half for every moles worth of HCl. But here's the thing, if we want the pH, we don't want just the molarity of the HCl, we need the molarity of the hydrogen ion. So I'm going to add in this extra step. Uh, for every one mole of HCl, there's one mole's worth of H plus ions that are going to come from that HCl. We're almost there. Right now we have moles per milliliter, and we need moles per liter to get a molarity, right? So I'm going to tack on one last little step here, milliliters to liters. Everything's going to end up canceling out except for moles of H plus and liters. Molarity of our H plus. So if we do a little bit of solving there, for H plus, we should get 0 0.0913 moles per liter. That's the H plus concentration. So if you know the H plus and you want to get the pH, <coughs> bless you, that's where you do that negative log thing. So we're going to do the negative log of 0 0.0913. That'll tell us our pH, because we did the negative log of the H plus. Should be getting somewhere around 1.04 when you type that guy in. And that good, quick, one-second check, you could say, does that pH make sense? A pH of 1-ish for hydrochloric acid. Yeah, okay, good. It's in the right range, right? It's somewhere below 7. That makes sense. What if we have a base instead? There's going to be a little extra step in this next one because we know about OHs, and we're going to find stuff about Hs. A little bit harder in this next one. It's going to start off very similar, though. We're going to have 5.2 grams of barium hydroxide dissolved in 250 milliliters worth of water. Let's make up our solution. We got to get that density into a molarity. So we need molar mass of barium hydroxide. If you add up a barium, two oxygens, two hydrogens, you'd get a mass of 171.3. Well, for all of these <coughs> problems, we don't want just the molarity of the chemical. We need the molarity of the ions because the equations have the ions in them, right? They don't, the equation doesn't have barium hydroxide in it. It just has hydroxide. So we have to figure out how many hydroxides are in there. So for every one mole's worth of barium hydroxide, we would get two moles worth of OH minus. 
and then close. Well, now we're at moles per milliliter. We need moles per liter, so I'll tack on that one last little moles per liter thing. Everything would end up canceling out except our moles of hydroxide per liter. So our hydroxide concentration is 0.2428. That's the OH. If I took the negative log of that number, that would get me the POH. So that should be somewhere in the realm of 0.61475, something like that. Well, that's the pOH, and the question was asking about the pH. pH and pOH always add up to 14. So if we just subtract that number from 14, that'll get us our pH. So somewhere around 13.39-ish would be our pH. And again, you, that one second, it takes one second if you accidentally called the 0.61475 the pH instead of the pOH, you should catch yourself because you should say, wait a second, having a pH of 0.6 wouldn't make sense for a base. Oh, that's right, because it's not the pH, that's the pOH.